lot of stuff in our pockets at the moment, but uh, it's fine. Uh, we need to look at what we need to craft to do the thing, to do the thing, to do the thing, right? It's always so many things to do. Uh, one of them was the liquid fuel, uh, liquid fueled boiler firebox. All right, so we actually have the steel plates, but we also need something else. We need steel bars. So that's steel rods. So that's, um, with our current technology, mm, excuse me, we gotta do it this way. So that's six steel ingots, but at least we make three. So then we'll have an extra one. One, two, three. One, two, three, six, right? Yeah. And the file. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what else do we need there? Oh, the hammer, right. Steel bars. Okay, what else do we need? We do need a cauldron, and we need an iron furnace, and we need a bronze firebox casing. So for that, we need bronze plates and bronze rods. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the rods are all, it's all the same. But the question is, what was the thing in the metal? Oh, it's more rods. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we going to need another file by the end of this? Maybe. Uh, and what else? The wrench. There we go. Cool. Oh, I didn't shift click. All right, so that should um, be some progress here. Yep, yep, we need an iron furnace. So that's iron plates and a furnace. Do we have a furnace in a, in a chest somewhere? Uh, oh, so here's something. Let's see if I can remember the key. So this is something that I saw very early on and then I remembered there was a key for it, but I couldn't remember. Like I thought of it like in several streams. Oh, was the key to do this thing? But it's like, is it T? Yes. If you hover over something, you don't have to have the item. It could be like in JEI. You hit T, it gives you a indicator of where the item is. Hey, look, it's a furnace. Which is really great <laughs> in order in order to find a thing. Say, where are sticks? Oh, there's sticks in there. What about, um, hold on, put these, uh, there we go. What if I want more steel bars? Like I searched for steel bars, right? Steel bars, right? And I hit T, oh, there's some over there. So anyway. I'm excited about that. So iron furnace, go. And then we need a cauldron. We need uh, iron, seven iron plates. We, we've, we've gone through all the iron plates. Do we have a cauldron? I don't suppose we have a cauldron kicking around. We do. Ah. All right, so liquid fueled boiler firebox. We can give this a liquid fuel, and if it has a boiler on top, it can produce steam for us. Which is why this quest exists. Ooh, that is a good, that's, a, that's an interesting choice. I, I would be tempted to take the steel plate all right, so now we should be able to look at this quest for the low pressure boiler tank. 
ultimately we're gonna want two of these I think um, besides the fact that um, like why are we making this right because we have the coal boilers but they are uh, whatever they call the they 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 burn coal or charcoal and they produce steam right um, but why not more of those well with this you can actually like make multiple of the um, the fireboxes and you can make like um, a two by two or a three by three and have a bigger and bigger boiler on top and they are they produce more steam per amount of fuel than the other ones do so it seems like this is a better um, a better way of producing steam I did a limited limited amount of testing with this just to see see how big of a like a multi-block thing I can make with the amount of water one of our um, rain catchment things produces and uh, it looked pretty good so we're not gonna go anywhere near the amount of water that we're producing right now in terms of just with one of these and maybe one of the um, the coal powered one which I don't have bookmarked let's uh bookmark some of these oh I didn't realize you can press a from here to bookmark you don't have to click in and go to here and bookmark but now I know all right and so I also want to make one of these of course we have to make a cauldron now and another iron furnace and, and those things and we'll, we'll do that next let's uh let's see one of these in action so we need iron casing so we need iron plates. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna need to make more iron plates. I knew we were gonna need a good amount of iron. I didn't really have a good sense of exactly how much, which is part of the reason I wanted to go over and mine uh, that whole vein, just because then we'd have lots of uh, materials. Then it would just be a matter of like, if we needed more iron, it could be processed. It would take some time. But, uh, yeah. All right, how much? Okay, so that should be enough plate to turn into a uh, chassis, I think is what it was. What is it called? Casing. Casing. Now, how much do we need? We needed six. So now we need two more screws. The good news is we have some extra iron rod. Oops. Here and there, and then the file. More screws. That's another quest completed right there. Low pressure boiler tank. Extract steam by attaching a pipe to the boiler tank. Keep in mind that it consumes many times more fuel to heat up a boiler than to keep it at top temperature. Um, yep. So this would be very inefficient if we were like uh, letting it run out of fuel. So what we really want to do is we want to set up something that will keep this thing fueled uh, indefinitely. And uh, yeah, so this setup with the liquid fuel boiler firebox and the uh, low pressure boiler tank, that's gonna go here so that we can supply water into it. Uh, and then we'll need to pipe in uh, creosote uh, from above, I guess. Think about how that's going to work. Hmm. So we could just have um, cold coke 
things, coke ovens above and pipe them in. And the storage of it itself is the buffer. That might be a good like intermediate step is to do it that way. We probably want to make another tank like this one down here to store the liquid fuel. That feels like a thing we, we should do. I don't, I don't know. Um, I do know that I want to move all this stuff out of here. <laughs> And then um, I guess what we can do is, can we use wooden pipes to pipe the creosote? Um, so we could do that. Do we have that in storage somewhere? Oh, in there. Okay. What about this? Oh, I can't do it from there. Oh, there's nothing nearby that's storing it. T doesn't do anything. What about here? Aha, right there. Oh, that's so nice. I guess the only thing that could be better is if it like turned me to look in the direction of the thing. Okay. Right, so we need to neaten things up. I think we are, oh yeah, hold on. Two directions at once. So the small wooden fluid pipes, 200 liters a second. I don't know how much fuel we're gonna need. I guess what we can do is we can try to use the wooden pipe and see how that goes. I don't know. Um, but I think we have enough materials now that uh, we should be able to just pull all the stuff out. Uh, let's. Uh, if you're wondering, I don't know if that I get this on stream. This was like a quest reward, so this is not one of my heads. It says may work as an infusion stabilizer, whatever that is. Okay, so random stuff. Uh, might as well eat that. We're gonna want the hopper. Uh, Matic can go in there for now. Ashes go over here. Okay. Um, you never know. I'm, I might want to just keep the flint and steel on me. All right, so that's empty. Okay, so we are... Oh yeah, there we go, a bunch of iron plates. Hey, Alex, how's it going? I feel like it's been a little while since I've seen ya. How you doing? How's your Monday been? Foxy's back as well, hey Foxy. I'm just doing some, uh, some tear down over here. Getting ready for the redo of the uh, the steam generation situation. Oh, uh, where did the? 
Oh, it, oh, I see. It went in the backpack. Yeah. Well. My emote needs a blue heart. I see. I guess I could ask uh, Dally2 to redo it with the blue heart. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> just trying to figure out where I want to put stuff so it's handy. A lot of stuff I'm just going to throw into uh, a chest. And let's say I have a place where I'm storing chests. I do. Where? Oh, in this chest. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, what about hoppers? No, I'm not storing hoppers anywhere. I'll keep this on me. This will be helpful. Uh, Coke oven bricks. I have like a stack of them now. We're, we're going to need these in a minute anyway. Uh, iron furnaces. Not storing those anywhere. I'll put those in there. Okay. I think we're getting close to actually being able to... Uh... Let's see. How is this going to work? Um... Oh, there's where that went. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to round. I want to remove these machines. You know what I need? I need a wrench. Let me go get a wrench. What is that emote, Alex? Is that like a, a DJ with like a disco ball? It's very eye-catching. Uh, there we go, wrench. <laughs> there you go, Foxy. That goes with that. All right. Very satisfying sound that the wrench makes. Let's, uh, oops. Close that all off. Uh, figure out what I'm doing here. Oh, there's a chest there and a hopper I want to collect as well. What I don't want to do is I don't want to touch the pipe. It's very hot. It's Squirrel Disco. Nice. Oh yeah, Kingslayer has been using some nice emotes too. shut this pipe off not like that not like that okay so there's steam in there and I would like to collect that steam uh, we need some pipes we need some uh, bronze fluid pipes to wrap the steam into the the tank valve Just so that it doesn't go to waste. We have two pipes. Uh, we can make some. We can make some more pipes, though. We have bronze. We don't. Have <laughs> we have four pi uh, um, plates. We can make two more the hard way with the hammer. There we go. And now we don't have any bronze plates. Let's see, how does this go? Is it like this and this? Not with the hammer. Um, like I could search for it, but okay, there we go. There we go. It's uh, it's the hammer and the wrench, and that makes two. Uh, oh yeah, so you can see it holds 574,000 something millibuckets probably, so 576 buckets. Now, can we get the steam over there? No. 
<laughs> we're gonna need to make some more plates, I think. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna lose this team, unfortunately. At least the the broken the pipes don't <laughs> hurt us. Okay, so close that off. Connect that. Connect that. And then connect that. And we should start seeing steam. There we go. Steam is pouring in, however that works. <laughs> All right, now let's let's sleep and hopefully not touch the pipe. Uh, we went through the floor. <laughs> uh, we, th we, we went through the floor into the part of the room that's not accessible. Nice. All right. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Briefly. All right. So, um, eventually these will run out of heat. And so they'll stop producing steam. Uh, and then, yeah. Oh, a thing we can do with the wrench uh, is if we hold shift and we right click, we can make a little arrow appear there. And that will ensure that uh, flow only goes in one direction in the pipe. It's a good thing. Like that. There we go. To celebrate, let's have some Neapolitan ice cream that we got as a quest for reward a while ago. All right, so. I think the next step is we need to move the, um, I need to put stuff away again. That's what I need to do. <laughs> let's see. Leap over that. How's it? So we're up to um, 55 buckets of steam. So we're about a tenth, tenth of the way. We're also going to need more pipes. What I really want to, hmm, hmm. What I can do once the um, this, the boilers are done boiling, I'll remove all the pipes and I'll pipe the steam out of the tank. And we can use that to power the um, the four chammer, so that we can make some more plates. Because it's it's less expensive to use the four chammer than it is to craft by hand. Um, so I don't want to make more bronze uh, plates until that, and then we can make pipes from that. Because we're going to need some more pipes. We need pipes to go from the um, uh, the low pressure boiler tank to our big tank that we made and then from the tank to the machines. Um, I don't need to carry around this Coke, bro uh, Coke oven brick with me. Uh, the iron chest is nice. I wanted one down here before. So you can see the other thing I've been doing is doing some organization of like the raw materials besides the, the big bulk stuff. So we have like all the raw ores that we've collected. The Sphalerite ore and Malachite ore and Fuller's Earth and Diamond ore and Sodalite and all the all the random stuff. And then, um, you know, from uh, byproducts and some processing, we have a lot of crushed and ground uh, ores and materials. Server-like, yeah. Uh, and then we also have a bunch of powders. And then we... Uh, have lapis and other odds and ends. Most of this stuff, uh, well, I mean, this this stuff was upstairs before or in the old house. And so this is all just me like consolidating all that. Uh, let's see, we, we are going to want to eventually to have a creosote bucket to kickstart things. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's as bad as, uh, empty as my inventory can be right now. There we go, we have almost uh, 
90, 92 buckets of steam in there. Are these still going? Yeah, they're still making steam. They have a lot of residual heat. And so we, we are producing steam that's going down into there. Cool. I mean, hot. <laughs> uh, so the next thing I want to do is um, we're going to move all this stuff, I guess. What we should do is we should make a dolly. Can we do that? Iron minecart wheels. Like we have the materials, we could probably do this. We need a steel plate, rubber rounds. Okay, we can make that. So the dolly will let us pick up the drawers and chests and things uh, without spilling their contents. And then we can just walk them downstairs slowly. Um, and that's gonna be a lot easier than trying to like break them because that'll spill all their contents or take things out a little bit at a time. It's much easier to use a dolly. Uh, so this is still doing its thing. So let's, let's do that next. Because not not just for this use, but we're gonna be moving stuff, rearranging the base, building new bases, moving stuff over and over and over again. So having this will be very helpful. Um, we don't have any steel plates though. <laughs> we're gonna have to do that the hard way, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Let's go ahead and put that there. So we need two rings for one. So four rings. Okay, four rings. Oh, that's the big iron, iron ring. Okay. So four iron rods. Uh, five, six iron rods, seven, eight, nine iron rods, nine iron rods. So four of these, right? One, two, three, four. And then two of these, oops. One, two. And then uh, rub around. Okay, so one of those. And I don't think this has durability, so fortunately this is going to be a situation where we just need to make this once, and then we'll have this forever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Here we go. I think that's a quest too, yeah. It's also a quest. And, uh... Right here. So then we get a magic drawer. Whatever that does, I don't even know. Uh, is a choice. Okay, I'm gonna leave this this here. Uh, and I, at some point I'll figure out what a magic drawer is. And figure out if I, I'm, I'm not too impressed with the barrels. Mm, excuse me, versus the, um, the storage drawers. I'm definitely more familiar with the storage drawers, but I'm pretty sure the dolly works on all of them. I'm not sure what the benefit is of using the the barrels versus using the uh, storage drawers. Okay, so can we? Yes. So that's not too bad. That's not super slow. 
I can still jump over the hot pipe. All right, we're gonna stick this stuff uh, here, I guess. There we go. Now, if we had multiple dollies, I'm pretty sure I saw someone the other day with an inventory full of dollies picking up, you know, a bunch of drawers all together. Oh wait, that's silly. Hold on, that's that's just a stack of sands. Uh, let's, if it's just a stack of sand, then um, we have the digger's backpack that should be able to hold that. Yeah. Anything else that has just a few things in it? There we go. Okay. Oh, it's about nighttime. Let's sleep first before we do the uh, the next trip down. So I'm emptying this room out um, so that we can probably like blow out the walls and we're, we're gonna make a floor and we're gonna put in the um the coke ovens here to produce charcoal and creosote to power our um steam production yep i think for right now i'm just gonna drop the stuff off here so it's out of the way it's getting closer to where uh, it needs to go Just like there I do want to actually maybe maybe get this going today so I can have the stuff going for uh, the grinding that's gonna happen between streams on chest too, right? Yep. Just pick up, pick up a chest full of stuff and drop it somewhere else. All right. Uh, let's see. Drawers. There we go. Figure out what we're going to put in those later. We're still making steam here, just again with uh, residual heat, but we're we're almost done. Um, so interesting. I think that means there is a little bit of room to maybe go down a floor, uh, like a a block in this room. And I think we want to do that generally to minimize the amount of pipe that we have to run to get the uh, creosote. Maybe more. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know about the um, hmm, where the pipe needs to go on the coke oven to get the creosote out. So that's something we're gonna find out here in a minute. Uh, 
Um, and yeah, obviously like a bunch of a bunch of the coke ovens are not gonna fit in this little room. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna say goodbye to the idea of being inside of a tree. Oops. Buy hatchet. <laughs> uh, I need to repair that here in a second. Let's see, what do I wanna do first? I think what I wanna do first is I wanna put down a coke oven so we can see creosote coming out of it. Just, for, just FYI, I'm sleepy. Uh, yeah. It's okay. You're feeling very sleepy. <laughs> All right, so I think like that. Yep. So I think we could put creosote in. Oh, we can't put creosote back into it. Nope. Okay. So what we can do is put wood into it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, let me put something in this hole so I don't fall through. All right, I, so I purposefully put um, th the position of the Coke oven offset so that the center of it wouldn't be over this hole because I wanna see when we have uh, creosote in there, if we can get it out through a pipe that's not on the middle. Um, it looks like we're done producing steam as well. So I think I'm going to, um, wrench this up. Very good. And, uh, that as well. That should be just about out of steam. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Death Row. How's it going? Look at all the steam we made. It's a very steamy uh, situation in there. <laughs> Chilling. Cool. Cool. Um, my inventory, though, is... It, it, it's got problems. All right. Um... Oh, yeah. the base is impressive. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, this is basically the storage room. Uh, just, you know, a little, a little hole in the ground. Not, not nasty or, uh, I forget the rest of the quote from The Hobbit, but. <laughs> All right. Um, so I think we're about ready to set up the boiler firebox. Yeah, I think so. Just need to get a few things out of, out of my inventory. Uh, at some point I need to repair the hatchet, but that can wait. We, we can prioritize here. So, let's pick up all the pipe here. Aha, oh, interesting. So I made a, a large bronze flute pipe somehow? And a bronze and a small bronze. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, what's this one here? This is just a normal bronze fluid pipe. Okay. Um, so, what we want to do is, yeah, there's some there's some creosote in there. What I want to see. So if we put the liquid fueled boiler firebox there. And then we put the boiler tank on top. So that is a working situation, right? So we can we can get water into it and we can get fuel into it and we should get steam out. Not there, no. <laughs> yes, there. Uh, so we need water. 
very important that we get water into the situation. Uh, and the best thing to do is like click on the pipe you want to connect to because then the pipes will, will all connect uh, like that. And then we wrench it. There we go. And now we can get water in. So we're filling up on water. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get some creosote to come down and mix into the situation. All right. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if you can pull creosote from not the middle. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so now we know. Uh, unfortunately, this is not running, so I don't have to worry about not touching it. Now, where is the middle? Oh, it's over one. Why would I do that? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pull some pipes out. Now I, I'm hoping that we can use wooden pipes because the creosote's not hot, theoretically. Uh, let's try to minimize the number of pipes we use. Try to be a little efficient. Okay. Is that... Does that even work? I don't even know. Um, maybe. Maybe small wooden... Oh, it's night. Let us sleep. Maybe the uh, wooden pipes won't work. Like I'm not seeing creosote in the pipe and the amount of creosote is not decreasing here. Now there's a bucket of creosote in there, but it's not coming out. So I think maybe wooden pipes won't work. Won't work. Let's try small bronze fluid pipes. Can we not? Maybe we can't do it from the bottom. Maybe it needs a different kind of pipe. Maybe I'm doing something else wrong. Maybe there needs to be, let's just I have enough bronze pipes to theoretically connect to the uh, firebox. So let's just try connecting everything to see if we can make that work. Oh, maybe I don't have enough pipes actually. Ooh, if I steal this one. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that didn't hurt me to uh, touch it, but okay. So new theory is that this is the wrong place to pull liquid out of. Let's try with the uh, wooden pipes, but from the front. Let's go up there. Anyone know? Uh, how this is supposed to work. What do I feel like it's supposed to be? I thought it was supposed to be coming from the bottom. It seems unlikely that it's supposed to be coming from the top. Hmm. How do we get the creosote out in an automated manner? I know there's a way. I feel like that way involves specifically the Coke oven. 
the thing that we have right here. I might have to Google that. We kind of need that to work. Um, I mean, technically, okay. So here's the thing, right? So we can definitely like connect this to this, to this, and then put a bucket of creosote in and we're going. But that's not, um, that is not a practical long-term solution <laughs> to bucket it by hand. And of course we're going to need multiple, yeah, pipe it down. Um, the problem is that I, oh, with, um, maybe you mean create? Yeah, create is not part of the, this pack. Um, there We have wooden fluid pipes. I think I might just not be connecting them right to like to the right place, possibly. So like the amount of creosote is not decreasing here. So that's not working. But, hey, we at least have a bucket. Um, we burned a bucket and we have another bucket in there. And we are producing steam and the amount of water is keeping up. Um, so we are, like, the amount of steam in here is increasing, I think or should be eventually. I think it might be building up right now in the in here, yeah. The other thing we can do is we can make sure to direct the pipe down. Like that, yep. Uh, not reverb, but double audio is an issue. Is there double audio? Um, is it the, the wrench sound? I don't know. Don't know. Let's uh, let's take a look at the quests because the the quest should have some ideas here for how we're supposed to use this. So, liquid fueled firebox. <laughs> Uh, creosote oil into steam. After you make your first steel, you're able to craft a liquid fueled firebox. So we did that. Uh, all work well here. This will also require a boiler tank. Yeah, so we did that. Made that. We made that. Um, so here we go. Uh, no, that's that. Where was the quest to make the, um, uh, the coke oven? Or alternatively, this is talking about the fluid pipe. Nope, okay, that's not applicable. You figured it out? Did you have me playing in two places? Audio is normal? Okay, thanks, Jake. 
Uh, let's see. Why one Coke oven when you can have 10? Ooh, what's that about? Oh yeah. So if I make 260 Coke oven brick, uh, oh, here we go. Steam boilers, Coke ovens, automate, wooden fluid pipes and tin pipes will help reach your goal. Oh, you can either use faucets with redstone clocks or LV pumps to empty the creosote. So that's what we're missing. We need a pump. Can we make a pump? Not a pumpkin. Uh, a LV pump. Not to be confused with any of the other ones. Electric pump. Well, the problem is, is we need power. We need a motor. We've made one of those. A tin rotor. We've made one of those. Uh, a rubber ring. Like, we could make this. Um... Is that, is that really? I'm not really convinced. I might have to go back and look at some videos and figure out how this is supposed to work because I feel like um, it shouldn't be that complicated. But um, I mean, this is not working as it is. Like we would, like hovering over the pipe, you would see an amount of creosote. Like, uh, here's water flowing through. Right? So you would see the creosote, but we're not. Um, so the good news, though, is that it's not catastrophic. If, if this runs out of fuel, it's bad. It's, like, inefficient because it cools down. Um, but we need to do a couple of things. Um, so we have 39 Coke oven bricks. I need to break the other Coke oven. I might as well steal some of the creosote. Uh, yeah, it's the issue is that the pipe is not enough. I think either I'm doing something wrong or there needs to be something else to get the fluid into the pipe. Uh, I just don't know yet what that is. Yeah, like a pump. Some kind of pumping mechanism. Hold on one second, I gotta I just use the ads. Okay, um, but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get a little of the, the creosote out of this. And, um, there we go. Okay, that could be fast. Transfer the creosote over, and then we're gonna break that, and we're gonna build the, um, the Coke ovens up above. Um, I will probably uh, try to figure out how to fix the whole pumping situation between streams. It may just be that this is something we have to do manually still, but I hope not. If nothing else with this, oh, you were watching Foxy's stream and it was doubling the audio. Oh, right, because Foxy's stream probably has me as a recommended stream, so that makes sense. All right, so we can put six more buckets in there. Um, yeah, so... Almost done with this. Right, so up until now we've had limited, like we've been able to use the creosote in furnaces to like smelt stuff but being able to turn it into power is uh is much more useful uh like we'll be able to <laughs> keep up with the uh amount of creosote that we're producing because we're the other thing is of course we're making charcoal to make steel like that's the big thing right so if we um this will allow us to not have to like destroy or void the creosote because we'll be able to use it to uh, make steam for our steam machines. And then 
soon our uh, electric machines, our low voltage machines. Um, the other thing I haven't really thought about too much, we did get from that one loop bag, some low voltage stuff, like a battery and a solar panel. Oops, I failed that. Uh, parkour, oh, I see. <laughs> um, so we will be able to go and leverage that as well. Right, so I think what we're gonna do so much. Uh, here we go. So we're going to use Lumber Axe. Clear out some space here. Uh, like I said, I've pretty much given up on the idea of keeping this looking like a tree. We're just going to build stuff. Why did right clicking place a coke oven brick? Real weird. Okay. Let's make sure we get some uh, some torches here to keep things lit up. And then out we go the other way. Oh yeah, if I sneak it uh Only breaks a single block. I should remember that at some point. Like this. There we go. All right, and then we should have. I mean, we had three coke ovens before, so we should definitely have enough blocks to make three coke ovens again. Uh, there we go. A little bit more space. And uh, empty one in the middle. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Uh, and then we have some extra Coke bricks for the next Coke oven. All right, we're gonna go for a little bit longer. It's about time to wrap up the stream. If anyone knows someone who's streaming that we should raid, that might be a good thing to start thinking about. Uh, we can also get these Coke ovens going, throw in some redwood bark in there, throw in some redwood there, just get rid of it. All right, so we got our coke ovens going back again, producing creosote. Uh, we just need to figure out how to pipe it. Um, we also need to do a couple more things. So we need to get some hoppers in here. Um, hey, we have hoppers. We should be able to put redwood bark um, let's see, where are we using redwood bark? Right here, right? So if we put redwood bark in here, yeah, it goes right into the coke oven. So now if we get like some drawers or barrels or something on top of the hoppers, we can preload like 64 stacks of wood to get turned into charcoal. Um, and then we should also be able to put a hopper below somewhere to pull the uh, the charcoal out. Let's see if we can figure that out really quick. Because if we can consume the charcoal and the creosote, we can just keep it continuously running as long as we can supply it with wood. So if we put a hopper here, hey look, charcoal. All right. Well, I foresee a lot of um, 
forestry, a lot of cutting down trees in my future to uh, load up those uh, with all the wood they're going to need. Uh, yeah, we're up to 222 buckets of steam in our steam tank. Um, and now we just need more pipes. Uh, let's see, what can we do here with this? If we get this large pipe here, and then temporarily we can just use some small ones. And then we can put in our steam forge hammer. There we go. Now we have steam. Uh, if we have a wrench, we can put the vent to the side. This is very temporary because we're, we're gonna need to make more pipes to set up all the rest of the machines and probably expand this room. Uh, but now we have the steam forge hammer. We can put in some, some bronze and make some bronze plates and then use that to make more pipes. Okay, so that I think is a good point to say <laughs> that's enough for today.